What's going on everybody? Welcome to another Rally Roots video. In today's video, we're gonna tell you 20 items that we recently sold on eBay. We'll tell you the items that sold, how much they sold for, and at the end of this video, we'll go through our profits on the items as well. Nice. But before we get into these 20 items, two housekeeping things. The first thing, we're having a meetup finally, not in Florida. It's gonna be in Little Rock, Arkansas. So Arkansas. The airport we're flying into is lit. Oh my God, okay. <laughs> yes, it's L-I-T, so that Arkansas. Where is it and when is it? Oh, I have to pull that up. The meetup, I'm gonna, I'm cheating guys. Don't mind me, I don't wanna say it wrong. Is at Rebel Kettle, it's a brewery. They do have food, so yay on that. And they have two stouts for Ryan, which yay, is stout. very exciting. I only drink stouts. Yeah, this is true. And it will be on Saturday, October 19th from 4 to 8 p.m. Cool. And what I'll do guys, I'll put a link to the meetup in Little Rock in the description of this video. If you want to come, there's a little RSVP form uh, on our website. It's not going to, it doesn't like cost you anything to come to the meetup. We just want to come hang out with whoever can come. So yeah, we just want to head count so that I have reserved tables for us and I would just want to make sure I've reserved enough seating yeah. and I don't want to over reserve seating right. out of a courtesy to the brewery. So if you can come to that meetup, that'll be awesome. Um, it'll be Bring cool friends. to see you guys here. Yeah. And then housekeeping thing number two, um, our final round of mentoring for this year starts on uh, November 1st. So we're gonna send out the sign-up emails. We usually do it a week before we start. Um, so the actual mentoring is gonna start on November 1st. It'll run the whole month of November. It's the last one we're doing this year. It's the last one we're gonna do for a while. Um, we're gonna take some time off next year for mentoring. So. That'll be your last chance really to get into it if you wanna get into it. Um, and again, there's a link in the description of this video to go get on the wait list for that. Yes. Cool. So now that we got that out of the way, let's get into the fun stuff. Fun. <laughs> okay. 20 items that we sold on eBay recently. And keep in mind guys, these are our sales. They are legitimate sales. I have everything written down here. Um, 20 sales over 11 days. So these items sold from September 28th to October 8th. So they're pretty recent sales as well. Okay. Cool. Cool. Got so it. we'll start with this one is first. Go for it. Okay, good. They are Allen Edmund shoes. We say that these are great and these are really great. They sold for $65 and we experimented. We had an additional $10 in shipping yep. on that listing. So a total of $75 and we only paid, I mean, you were, they were at a thrift store. Seven, eight bucks. Yeah, probably. it was like probably around $8 guys. Really awesome shoes. Yep. And they sold within the first same day. Oh, the first 24 hours of listing. Them. Yeah, you guys will notice in some of these listings, we've been listing stuff slightly different. Um, we'll make another video on how we're listing and how we're using promoted listings. This is just more to give you an idea of what's currently selling for us. So expect another video about how we're currently listing right now. Yeah, we keep experimenting so that we can do the best listings and then share our experiences and the best listings that we've yeah. experimented with with you guys. So item number two, this is a Pantera shirt, not vintage from 2006, but it's still sold for $20 and free shipping. These Timberland men's expedition boots sold for $50 with free shipping. Nice. Ugg Australia, I think these were sheepskin ones, right? Yeah, fur lined boots. Ugg boots always have like a model number. It's like a four digit model number. So these were 5854. It's a good thing to put in the title. And this pair sold for $45, free shipping. Yeah. One thing that you'll notice throughout today's video is that we've been selling a lot of shoes. They're selling great for us right now on eBay. I know a lot of you guys are selling them on Poshmark as well, um, but shoes in general are selling awesome for us, used shoes and new shoes. Interesting, right? Keep that in mind. This men's Polo Ralph Lauren Polo sold for $30. Free shipping on that one? Free shipping. And that was new, new with tags. That's why it sold for more than what a used one would sell for, obviously. Oh, sorry, I missed the new with tags. <laughs> Jackets have been selling great for us. This is a The North Face. For your face. Jacket, um, and it sold for $45 with free shipping. Because winter is coming. Well, it's, it's here for a lot of you guys. Not for us. <laughs> this next one, this is probably the only item in today's video that wasn't either from a thrift store or a garage sale. We bought like a whole ton of these boots. I think we bought like 60 or 70 pairs total of them. Um, I think we have like 10 to 15 pairs left, but they've been selling gradually 
very well for us. This one order, someone bought three pairs of them and the total they paid was $209.91 with free shipping. So boots are great. These floor shimes are really interesting. Double monk strap and we know what that is now. So we love them and they sold for $65. And for some reason, people really love the double monk strap. So yeah. if you ever see a double monk strap on shoes, look it up guys, because it might be really good. Yeah, it's in style right now. Yeah. Thrift store find. I think I paid like four bucks for this at a Goodwill. Um, it was a LeBron James new tags jersey. Um, I don't know, what was the, oh, it was True School Authentic. So it wasn't like Nike or Adidas, anything like that, but it was new, which was cool. And this one sold for $40.92 plus shipping we charged $4.50 for shipping. Wow, and Callie did an amazing listing. She did the front and the back in yeah. the cover photo, guys. If you can take the extra like 45 seconds to make that, mm -hmm. please do it, especially for like a jersey. People wanna know what's on the front and the back. We love selling hockey jerseys. This is a Alaska Aces. I thought it was Colorado for a second, but I was wrong. Alaska Aces CCM jersey, and it sold for almost $80 with free shipping. Some Mary Jane dance goes. We sold them for $45 with free shipping, and women wear them whenever they work as nurses. So they are nursing shoes. As well as other reasons. Yeah. But I think they have the non-slip aspect about them. So guys, look out for dance goes. They're yeah. great work shoes. Love selling vintage t-shirts. Um, I tried this one on. I was gonna keep it for myself, but it was a bit more of like a boxy fit and I like a more slimline fit. So, but a really cool Pillsbury Doughboy vintage t-shirt. Found it at a garage sale for $1 and it sold for $25 with free shipping. Cause you're like a tank. So you don't want your shirts to fit you like a tank. True. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this one was great. A subscriber bought this one. That's so funny. I actually just edited the price of that one recently. Oh, nice. And so this is Frisky Reindeer. The brand is Skadoosh, but Sk it's not about the brand. It's about the pattern on it. And it sold for $20 free shipping, but it went to a subscriber. So that makes it even better. Enjoy your new sweater. Yes. <laughs> Another pair of Uggs, $59.12. Pretty, uh, pretty standard. Not too much to say about this sale. That's what they sold for. <laughs> The Salvatore Ferragamos sold for $85, and typically we do really well with yep. Salvatore Ferragamos, as long as they're not ratty and trashed. Mm -hmm. We do much better with the men's shoes, uh, Salvatore Ferragamo men's shoes, um, but pretty much if it's a good design and it's in good condition, you can expect them to sell for $70 plus. We've sold Ferragamos for $200 plus. It oh, just yeah. depends on the design and the desirability. Is that a word? Yeah, desirability. Sweet. It depends on those things. <laughs> This was a cycling jersey with pockets. I love them for your guns. <laughs> Cannondale, good brand, American flag, great design on this one. And this one also sold with shipping on it. So it sold for $24 plus $4.50 shipping, a total of $28.50 for a really nice item. But again, used cycling jersey. Cycling jerseys, it's all about the brand name and the pattern, the design on there. A Lululemon men's shirt sold for $20 with $4.50 in shipping, so $24.50. Nice. Yeah. And another men's Lululemon shirt sold, I think we, I mean, we probably would have found them at the same time, right? It's like almost the same shirt, both V-neck. Yeah. yeah. $22.72 on this one and another $4.50 for shipping. This Tommy Bahama shirt sold for $25, just a large. We put camp in the title. It makes it a bit more desirable in searches because people love to use that term whenever they search. And the larger sizes sell for more, but $25 for a large Higher is because end. of their because of the pattern, really. 100%. It was a good pattern, yeah. but if it had embroidery, it would have been better. Yeah, we just sold an embroidered back one today for like $32. So the embroidered ones are still commanding decent money, um, but like Ali said, the pattern is what sold this one for that much money. Mm -hmm. Typically, Tommy Bahama shirts in size large, 15 to $20 is yeah. what they're selling for. So 25 bucks is a great, great price to get. Right, so if you can find two, sell them together. True. If they are boring and you get them cheap enough. Yeah. And last but not least, a non-clothing item. Um, I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce this brand. I'm gonna say Ectalon. I know sports, <laughs> so it's pronounced Ectalon. Okay. <laughs> um, it's a, it was a vintage racquetball racket. And we actually had this for a while. Um, I wanna say we had this one for more than like four months, so which is a long time for us to hold on to stuff. Oh. But it did end up selling for $55, and I believe we only paid like four or five bucks for it. So only a 10% um, cost of goods, roughly. So. Oh, nice. All brackets look the same to me because I thought we literally just listed that one. <laughs> no, so... that one's been up for a while. Yeah. yeah. 
So there's 20 items that sold. Let's break down the numbers on everything really quick. So one thing that I think is really important that not a lot of like reseller YouTubers, I guess, teach people is it's so, so important to not just look at your gross numbers, the top line numbers, but it's important to know how much money you're actually making on these items. So I'm not gonna break it down one by one because that's not the way that we like to run our business, but I will break down the entire 20 items for you guys so you have an idea. So again, 20 sales from September 28th to October 8th, it's 11 days. And again, that's not everything that we sold. This is just a cross section of some of the stuff that sold on one of our eBay stores. Total gross sales of $1,054.64, which is an average sales price of $52.73. That's high. Yeah, remember how we tell you guys, we try to keep our average sales price over $40 on eBay. Here's a prime example of it actually happening for us. Um, and again, remember the reason why we do it is because we're in a warehouse, we have overhead, warehouse expenses, employee expenses, utilities, taxes, blah, blah, blah. So again, uh, $52.73, average sales price, gross sales, $1,054.64. Uh, let's break down our costs. So the cool thing about eBay is you can actually go into your seller hub or whatever it is, and it, eBay will tell you what your selling costs are. And it breaks it down by percentage, so you can look and see where are my selling costs? How much am I paying for uh, final value fees and shipping and promoted listings and all that stuff? So if you look at ours right now on our uh, public store, which is where all of these items were sold on that store, 27.6% uh, is what our selling fees currently are, which isn't bad. We try to shoot for under 30% on our items. So from that $1,054, 27.6% works out to $291. That's how much we paid eBay and shipping, which gives us gross profits, right? So after those fees and shipping of $763.64. Now, the only other thing that would come out of there before, obviously our overhead, but the only other thing that would come out of there would be our cost of goods. I'm gonna use 25% from the top line as our cost of goods. On these items, it's probably quite a bit less, um, but I'm going on the higher end. Cause like, like I said, on the Pillsbury shirt, we only paid a dollar for that. Right. Um, on those shoes that sold for 70, we only paid seven. So it's it's probably closer to like 10 to 15%, but I'm gonna go on the higher end and say it's 25%. So 25%, $263.66. If you take those costs out of that top line, it gives us a pre-tax profit of $499.98. So we'll round it up and just say 500 bucks. Yeah. And then again, if you take that $500 and you divide it by 20 items sold, you can get your net average sales price, which for us is 25 bucks. So we know on average, in this case, when we list an item after our fees and shipping and cost of goods, we are pocketing 25 bucks pre-tax. And again, before we pay like other stuff, but we could say, $20 to be safe. Yeah. Right? So hopefully that kind of like helps you guys understand the numbers. Um, but again, it's really, really important to go into your financials and know how much money you're making. Cause there's a lot of people we've, where we've looked at their stores and looked at their accounts and they're actually not making money. It's costing them money to be resellers. And that is not the point of what we do. Right. We want you guys to know your numbers. Um, in my opinion, it's not a good idea to sell something for $10 to pay shipping and fees and your time to list that item to at the end of the day only profit two or three dollars. In my opinion, most people who watch this channel, your time is more valuable than that. So our advice is to look at that average sales price, know your numbers and get that up if you're selling on eBay. I agree. There you go. Yeah. Hopefully that helps guys. Um, I think we'll end the video here. Please subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Hit the thumbs up button. Check the links in the description of this video. And uh, that's it. Anything else, babe? Nope. Go subscribe to Allie's Craft Channel. Oh, yeah. that's so sweet. I'll pop it up here. Oh, and guys, <laughs> we're going to do a really fun video where it's a versus video. Yeah. Ryan and I are going to versus each other on something very shortly. <laughs> so if you want to see that, it's going to be hilarious. Cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate you. It means a lot that you take the time out of your day to watch our video. So thanks so much. I'm Ryan Roots. I'm Allie Roots. And, and together, together we, we are Rally, Rally Roots. Roots. Peace, Peace out.